stories that uh, this was just a routine uh, paternity test. The only difference was the twins were dizygotic twins, meaning that they're they're not identical twins. And uh, when we tested them, it, it was strange because he was probably the father of one child, but not the father of the other child. So we, my first uh, thought was that somebody mixed up some test tubes in the in the lab. So we uh, called the mother and asked her, "Please come in. We we seem to have some kind of mistake here. We want to test everybody again." And uh, she said, "Well, uh, I have a better idea." <laughs> so instead of coming in to bleed everybody, she brought in another man. <laughs> and this other man <laughs> turned out to be the father of the other twin and not the father of the first twin. So it became obvious that one father was twin, father of one twin and the other man was the father of the other twin. <laughs> it couldn't have been any other way. <laughs> and uh, again, you know, something like this could not have been discovered by the old system. Only by HLA typing the very... Uh, polymorphic system that we could pin that down. And we published that in the New England Journal of Medicine. Uh, I think in the history, it's been shown uh, before. I, there was a case in Germany where one dizygotic twin was uh, obviously from an African-American and the other was white. <laughs> <laughs> so they they were pretty sure that something like this can happen. Uh, but our case was the first one shown by, by uh, tissue typing and uh, blood tests. And uh, so then the, after the publication, uh, the news media came to UCLA and wanted me to <laughs> tell them about the mother. <laughs> and... Uh, I told them that, well, this is all uh, confidential. I can't do anything. So what they did was they announced it on television and uh, the, talked about the case and asked the mother to come in. And the next day the mother showed up <laughs> and uh, talked about her <laughs> adventures. <laughs> so it was really surprising that she wanted to be on TV. 